I took photos of my friend at a lake and I showed this like vulnerability and like sadness. Like I, I made her like lay on the ground and like like look up at me and like it looked to me, at least the way I tried to make it, it was like look heartbroken. And I was just like, look like this, you know? My name is Devin. I'm a journalism major with a photo minor and I'm a senior this year, but I primarily categorize myself as an artist and specifically a photographer. The kind of photography that I'm pursuing is portrait photography and I do it because I want to capture the beauty in the lives I feel, feel and see around me because I think it's important to not only portray all kinds of beauty but to like, tell a story with people's faces and specifically eyes and to capture that and be able to share it and like connect people with moments and feelings by other people. I feel so alone all the time, even if I'm like in a, like with everyone else. I just feel like I'm bad at relationships and so like I'm not good at maintaining friends. After my breakup this year, I made an entire series um, that was uh, uh, called like I Waited But You Never Called. And like the entire series was based off of that. I used multiple models in the process and um, and every single photo shoot, I was just like, just be sad as fuck. Like, just be sad. And um, I'm going to photograph that. And so, like, the very first photo shoot that I did, it was, like, two months after my breakup. I, like, you know, that was when I just, like, could actually get up and not cry for a day. So I used those times to, like, I went to Galaxy Diner, and I was like, let's just, like, go to the diner, and, like, I want you to sit by yourself in a booth. And I want you to, because that's what I had to do. Like, I didn't know how to function without this person in my life because we did everything together, we lived together, like I didn't know how to be a person without him. And so I was like, I wanted to portray that in my first photo shoot that I did after my breakup. I was like, go sit, like, it was this entire like bar stool area and he was the only person sitting on there and I took a photo of like all the empty chairs because I was, that's how I felt. Like, I would have to go out places now by myself and eat by myself and like, no one sees me, no one looks at me. Like I get my coffee and I leave and like, you know, like that's it. And so I try and put my feelings in my work. Like I try to make, like, but not to make people feel bad for me or to like, just, you know, to get it. My name is Clay Thomas Cabral and I'm an artist. I mostly do painting, drawing. Anything that I draw from my head is probably an emotion. Cause whatever, usually I try to draw from them, but whatever comes up in my mind or my head, I just put them on a piece of paper and then if I like it, I'll keep going with it. But if not, I'll just stop it completely or throw it away. I would say that if one emotion were to describe some of my art, I'd say it would be like depression or rage. Just because those are the two emotions that like, I frequently come in contact with a lot. So I think that's probably what displays in my artwork a lot, but I don't know if people see it. When I was like very young, I used to get bullied a lot just for having long hair and I don't know, I was the son of an art teacher, so I guess that made me gay for some reason. I don't know, they just called me gay like a lot. And then they just like mess with me and like, I don't know, not, not torture, but like just bully me through like every, I think it was fourth to like seventh grade that I got bullied. So I guess a lot of my really like, depression comes from that because I was like, why am I the only one that's getting bullied here? Even when I was younger, I think art was something that held me together. And if I didn't have that, I probably wouldn't be here. Not to say it lightly, but I probably wouldn't if I didn't have art. Or I feel when people say that you can't make money off art or that it's not really a career. I just I just feel like they're haters because if you really think about it, artists make hella money, but usually most of them don't make, them, don't make it up there until they're dead. So it's like, that's probably why they're thinking that. But I think the opposite. I think there's a lot of people that make artwork and they make a living off it. And I think that's really good because they... They're doing what they really love, and I appreciate that. So when people tell me I'm not going to make a career out of photography, I'm like, you right. First of all, I can't wait to say fuck you to all the people that fucking said that to me. It's just like your mentality and your mindset, and 
like what you see in life is just so different from mine that it's like I don't give a shit what you think then like your opinion of me like what you think is going to happen in my life doesn't matter like are you supporting me in any way like financially like are you how are you in my life you know so really you're you're no one <laughs> I would say just fuck all the haters because a lot of people um, don't like I don't know they don't really like care about art so um, if they be hating on your artwork then just fuck them do your artwork do you be yourself and I would say always like persevere through hard times because I know being an artist it's a very hard lifestyle and if you're not up for it it's it's gonna kick you in the ass, but if you don't let it, if you just keep going, you're gonna get somewhere one day, and I think that's important in life and in art.